Um, updating the firmware on a C224E. Um, basically, we've gone into um, firmware versions in service mode, taken a photocopy, sorry, a photograph of that page, so it's showing the original firmware. That's just in case if we load it, it doesn't take, the machine doesn't boot up again, we know what the original firmware version was on the machine. Uh, going to come out of there. We hope that's it. Okay, we're going to um, turn the machine off. Come away. Turn the machine round. Go into the uh, hidden USB port down on the bottom here near the USB. Remove that screw. That then enables that shutter just to slide out. If there's another USB port in there. Make sure I put the camera on so you can see it. That's the shutter. There's the hidden USB. Okay, so we've got our firmware on our stick that we've downloaded. Two two four E. This is a two eight four E, but same thing. Hold the shutter up, USB stick in, back to the front of the machine, turn it on, and close the front cover of course. Screen is blank at the moment, now it's starting to boot up. It's um, now loading the uh, new firmware in from the memory stick on the side there. Can take a few minutes to do this. Like watching paint dry, stick in the tripod. Still loading firmware. Talk amongst yourself for a minute. Two or three or four. Apparently, in this time of loading the firmware up, um, you should be able to change a full set of feed tires, I'm told. I'll just see if I can pause this for a minute. I can't, so just as well, it's now starting to boot up. Just as we're all getting bored and losing interest in life. Okay, it's come up with this, um, this firmware update. Just 
for a start. wild this is absolutely wonderful if you're still awake at the end there's a prize you get a free screwdriver oh that one situated there actually growing a beard in the time it's taken this to load. That's how much fun I'm having. Oh God. Just waiting for the scanner to complete this uh, printer's done, ADF's done. Oh, oh. I bet you haven't pressed the fast forward button yet. Or maybe you have. It's important when you um, transfer the firmware from your PC to your memory stick in the correct format, of course, that you don't use too big a memory stick. Uh, we use about two gig memory stick. Okay, that seems to be okay. It's gone to blue here. Press start. Machine's all sorted now. So I'm um, going to turn it off and then turn it on again. Machine off. Count to ten. Take the USB stick out. Turn the machine on. Close the door. The 
machine's now beaming up with the new firmware. At this stage, if it hadn't been taken, it could uh, keep the screen like this for days. <laughs> so fingers crossed on the moment it's going to beam up. Anyway, the machine's going to get it ready. It's going to be sorted. Can't start waking any longer. <laughs> 